Inside the double gated community of Bello Mead Island, we are in Miami taking a look at Villa Q. This is a six bedroom, six bathroom, two half bathrooms, 8,222 square feet built in 2022 and it's asking at $19.9 million. And before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to the listing agents, Michelle and Nancy, for even allowing us to do this tour. The first thing that strikes me is this landscaping next to me. I feel like I'm in a botanical garden, just next to this electric fence that you have that lets you in and out on your roundabout driveway. And then how could I forget, look at the architecture and design of this house. You know, I show a lot of houses for sale in Miami, but this one stands out amongst 99% of them. And so as we come up, you'll see on a big house like this, you have a two car garage door. However, behind this is actually a 14 car garage. I'm gonna save that for a little bit later. I gotta leave a little bait on the hook to keep you watching my video, but that's where you get in and wait till you see, in there is ridiculous. Back to the house itself. On the sides of this house, there's actually a French drain system, which means the water rolls down and goes underneath the rocks and drains out front. So you don't need gutters, as you can see, but you still get no flooding. It's the best of both worlds. You can imagine at night as well, the lights between each step, it feels like you're going to a gala that you've been privately, cordially invited to. We have a huge front door. Normally I would just rip this puppy open and head inside, but I wanna talk about it real quick. This is a $20,000 door that was actually $20,000 two years ago, so it's probably worth more now. It's by SIW Solutions. Absolutely amazing. It looks like a piece of art. I can't believe this is a front door. After you. There's two things that strike my eye as soon as I walk in. The first is this sea of porcelain. I literally feel like I'm swimming in porcelain. It's surrounding every surface of the floor. And the second thing I noticed is that when I walked in, it immediately got 50 degrees cooler. That's because there's 12 AC units and hurricane impact doors and windows. Category five hurricane impact, which means that a category five hurricane can hit this house and the windows and doors will be safe. I wanna take us straight to the entertaining space first. When you walk into here, it's a huge open space, but they have their little sections. And the one behind me is the first one we'll talk about. This entire kitchen is an Italian design. You have two of the most prominent Italian designers that took part in this kitchen. Let's start over here down the line. First off, we have Mia Cucina coffee station. Look at this. You got the Viking microwave behind. Take a look at the cabinetry. Everything about it is just so standing out. And then we come down a little further. We have another Viking appliance. This is a Viking dual fridge. Every appliance in this kitchen is Viking, including over here, we have a Viking stove. It's got the six burning gas at the top, the vent above. You're basically a professional chef if you touch this. Look, I'm professional now, amazing. And then the second Italian designer we have is Module Nova, which they did the island and the cabinetry. This, I know this might look like granite, but this is actually porcelain. And then you have pop-up sockets here because everybody in this house, their phones are gonna be dead taking videos and Snapchats of your gorgeous home. And you can see with the cabinetry as well, just absolutely beautiful electric opening. You know, how nice is that? Close it back up, boom, closes just like that. we we'll come down a little further, talking more about the island. Up above it, we have these Swarovski crystals as light fixtures and each one of these crystals is valued about $6,000. And honestly, it just brings the whole image of this room together. The water, the crystal, the furniture, the plants. It's perfectly done. As the kitchen island continues down, you have multiple of those outlet pockets. You even have like a wraparound bar stool section where you can sit, have some breakfast, chat, enjoy the view. Behind you, you have dual Viking ovens. These are actually professional grade. There's only five of these in all of Florida and one of them is in this house and they no longer make it. So your Thanksgiving is gonna be top notch simply because you've got the best cooking equipment to the dining room. Fun fact about this whole set over here. This isn't included in the asking price because of the rarity of it, but for the right price, everything is for sale. This table is about 52,000 years old. I can't even compare something else that's that old because I, I can't even relate that in my head. You can feel the history in it while you're sitting here. You've got enough seating for your family and for your friends. And there's something I want to mention real quick, Eric, if you want to scoot in right here. These chairs are Lamborghini chairs. So if you don't have a Lamborghini, at least your dining room is a Lamborghini 
set. So that's kind of cool. But just imagine sitting here with your family, with your friends, enjoying the view. And look what you have above you, a custom light fixture that's just raining down onto these pink and white orchids. Absolutely incredible. And then the last thing I wanna mention about this room is we have the artist, very famous in Miami. He does a lot of work around here. He's known for these like really shiny metallic sculptures. And if you look under the table, Eric, if you can like somehow pen under there, there is a, one of his sculptures, he actually did the base for this table. So you have a 52,000 year old piece of wood on top of a modern sculpture. It's just something that you don't see in every house. And if I were you, I would bid up to get this included. Why wouldn't you? And so follow me, let's swim across this sea of porcelain once again. We'll head down to the living room. We have a 780 bottle wine cellar. And I know what you're thinking, Jason, it's not a cellar, it has glass you know, windows. Nope, this is actually a cellar and I'll show you why. That wire that's going into the bottle, that is measuring the temperature of that bottle to make sure that the room is cooled enough to keep that wine where it's supposed to be. And then just next to it, you actually have something that measures the humidity. So this is humid controlled, temperature controlled wine cellar. You're gonna take that bottle, you're gonna come over here into your living room and look at this. Right above me, you have a winter blossom light sculpture by Swarovski again, above these orchids. So you got an insane view mixed in with the water in the background. You're sitting here, you're reading a good book, drinking a glass of wine. You have the mirrors in the back reflecting the length of the room. I wanna transition from here to outside because there's a lot of surprises out there. And so I'm gonna cut through these hurricane impact windows once again. Category five hurricane impact, you're safe and I'll go ahead and show you the backyard pool area. Follow me out there. This is like a terrace almost, an outdoor porch area that you could have just off of the living room. Keep these doors open, push them into the wall, and look what you have. Look at, I mean, even the, the wall in the dining room is all glass. We'll head down towards the summer's kitchen. There's a lot to mention. So I've, sh I've shown, I don't know, hundreds of outdoor summer kitchens. This is definitely top three, and it's not two, and it's not three. This is like incredible. Back to what I was saying inside, the kitchen has that same pop-up outlet out here, which charging outside, you definitely need that. How about this? You have dual drink coolers by Viking, wine cooler, ice out here with the, the good cubes. You know, the ones that are like premium cubes. Look at that curve, amazing. The sink is out here. We have the professional Viking skillet over here next to the grill next to another burner as well. In the grill, you have actually a rotisserie that you could put a chicken and cook rotisserie chicken out here. That, that's just, the detail here is unmatched. And then above, speakers throughout, these gorgeous like wooden panels, almost to contrast all the white that you're seeing. If you need to use the bathroom, no need to jump in the water. You can just come around, up these steps, and you have a cabana bath. And now I wanna talk about the pool. You know what it's taking me to not take off my jacket and jump in there and just go for a swim? And this is not just any pool. This is a knife edge infinity pool. The pool deck is leveled with the water to create almost like a mirror effect. You can almost not even see where it lands. And then you have the infinity edge that falls out into that side. This pool alone costs about $500,000 to construct and build and put into this house. I can see it. You have the umbrella stands over there if you wanted. The deep end is over here. And if that wasn't impressive enough, the pool is not only heated, it's also cooled. You can heat and cool this pool. That's like a, a song. You can heat and cool this pool. Let's take a few steps down to the deck. This is not just a casual deck where you have your boat parked up. There's a nice place to sit out, lounge, nice and cool under here. And then you have the 75 feet of water frontage for the for your boat, to dock up the jet skis, anything you need, you can easily do it. And you're not driving 20 minutes through a channel. You go straight down, boom, and you're just out in the open. This is what Miami living is about. And let's turn around, just look at the house real quick. Architecturally, a masterpiece. The pool, the outdoor kitchen. It's so nice. And we have only even seen the first floor. There are three more floors to take a look at. So why don't you head back inside with me? Let's finish up the first floor and then I'll show you around. Come on. So now let's take a look at some guest bedrooms. We haven't even seen them yet. We'll start 
on my left over here. This is back by the front door. It slides down ever so nicely. The first spot we're looking at is the laundry room. This is actually done by the same people who did the cabinetry in the kitchen. Two huge appliances. And then I want to show one more thing is right over here. We have the brains of this house. This entire home has a $600,000 smart home system. It's also the only home on the entire island that has fiber optics. So if you're an IT tech person, look no further. And now to the guest bedroom. Down over here, this guest bedroom has a huge amount of space, but in the bathroom is where I want to show you because it has floor to ceiling porcelain tile and the, the ceiling height is almost 12 feet high. Look at this, huge in here, like it's built for a king. And so let's head back into the hall, crossing the stairs, crossing the elevator into this second area of guest bedrooms. Straight ahead, another guest bedroom with the same style. You know, it's got the ensuite, the space, everything you need. And then on my left is a spot I want to take you into. This is the half bathroom. You have a mirror, mirror, which is kind of cool. It's huge, it's perfect for a giant. And then look at the sink. The faucet comes from the top. You turn this little switch, amazing. And now this is a room that I want to show you and you'll notice there's crystal door handles. This is actually throughout the entire house. You have crystal door handles. This is the theater. So why don't you come inside with me? Let me set the mood real quick. We'll come over here. Let's hit movie mode. So when you hit movie mode, the lights come down, right? This is where you put on that epic movie that you're gonna sit down and watch. But let's say that you just have some friends over here watching the fight, switch it to like a yellow color and then you take a seat, let me get to the top. These chairs, I know they look amazing and that's because they are. These are Italian recliners. I feel like I'm sitting in a Ferrari right now, essentially, <laughs> you know what I mean? You have suede walls, this entire room is soundproof, including the door, and you have a 150 inch screen to watch Jason Matuk's luxury home tour videos. What better place to do it? And so I think from here, it's time I show you the second surprise in this house, which is the 14 car garage. And instead of going upstairs, follow me downstairs. So downstairs, two entrances into the garage. Let's just take this one. And this is a 14 car garage. So in here, you can notice the floors already. The, we have epoxy floors on the bottom. This is the garage I was like teasing in the beginning where it's like the two car, but it leads into this huge open space. And so let's take a look around. We have this big body G-Class over here on my left. This, this is the kind of thing you cruise down Brickle Ave with a big smile on your face. We have the uh, F-150. You gotta have this. We got some potholes around the city, some off-roading perhaps. You know, this is a good thing to have in the, in the case. Whoa, <laughs> it's an MC20, absolutely amazing. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in person before, so this is astonishing to me. And like I said, you have a room full of cars over here, you cross over, maybe make this your toy section. Like you have a golf cart, jet ski, if you wanna pull, I don't know, like a smaller boat in here, you definitely can. And look, I mean, you have fridges out here, coolers, storage, that's the door that takes you back out into the front and then we can just head right into this door and go back in the house. But in Miami, 14 car garage, it's unheard of. Imagine throwing a party here. Your guests are pretty much in heaven. So hop back in. All right, so now that I showed you the first floor and the negative first floor, well, first and second floor, I'm gonna hop in this elevator and it's gonna take me up to the third floor. I'll see you there, YouTube. Welcome. So here we are to the third floor. On my left, we have a guest bedroom. In the guest bedroom, it has its own ensuite and closet. When we come out of it and we walk down over here, this is like the front of the house and it has a front terrace almost, which is really, really cool to have because it almost gives this room a private balcony and you have just like a huge open 
landscaped courtyard here with the same wooden slats that we saw at the top overlooking the gorgeous community. This community is amazing, by the way. It's like a, it reminds me of like a California neighborhood, very quiet, very peaceful. Just adjacent from this guest bedroom, across over there, you're gonna have another guest bedroom. It has the ensuite, but back into the hallway here, I wanna show you now both of the main suites facing the water. We're gonna start with the junior suite, so we'll come into here, and the junior suite is not lacking. You still get the crystal door handle into the bathroom with me. The finishes in the bathroom are just super tasteful, that gray going up the walls from the floor and then back into the bathroom. Now we have kind of like that porcelain design. Look at the size of this shower. This is a complete full walk-in shower. Room for more than three. Amazing. This like cracked frost window over here. So you get privacy, but you get natural light, toilet, and bidet. Basically a junior suite for a king or queen or a princess or prince. And then when we walk out and bend right, on my left, you have a walk-in closet. On my right, you have a walk-in closet. So you get two walk-in closets, and then into the main room itself. This is where it all comes together. Look at this. A masterpiece. Floor to ceiling window, overlooking your deep blue pool, the roaring water. And then you'll notice you have curtains that can go all the way around, close to give you privacy at night. And the final feature is that at the top, you have a... Uh, TV that comes down. This TV is not just any old TV. This is a 65 inch TV to bless you. Good night. Watch Jason Matuk's luxury home tour videos. Be in heaven. What else do you need in this room? So from this room into the hallway so I can show you the now main suite because this was just a junior suite. Keep that in mind. You'll see the difference of the main suite in a second. Look at this. So you have a huge swivel door look at this door it's magic i don't know why big swivel doors let up my face but they do and then you'll come in we have the bathroom on my right this bathroom is super cool you got the private toilet bidet on one side your dual sinks and your dual sinks aren't just some haphazard circles you have these like half silhouettes connected to the wall look at that fixture it looks like a science project that i want to wash my hands with and then look at this walk-in shower. This top 10 biggest walk-in showers I've ever seen. You have two monster shower heads, and then check this out, even a sliding glass door on a farm hinge. If you wanna get some privacy, stop the water from splashing out, you're going too crazy in there. We have the vanity, and then you walk into here, and you have the closet to make him or her smile, ear to ear. This is the perfect place for accessories, Clothes organized nicely, lighting is immaculate, windows for natural light, speakers. Throughout this entire house, you have invisible speakers and they go into this room as well. You come out and you come into here. <laughs> Look at the size of this. That's a real cat. Didn't even see it there for a second. This is bigger than most people's condos in Miami. And while you're laying in this king side bed, that, is, that it, it really looks minuscule in this room. You're just looking at a corner view of, this, of the water. You even have a place to sit and lounge, the same wraparound curtains. Look at this, a, a boat is just passing by, a family going out to have some fun today. And I don't blame the cat for being scared. Just like the last room, you do have the same TV you know, that comes down. However, it's a little bit more advanced you actually have a projector screen and you can watch Jace Matuk's luxury home tour videos like a boss. The really interesting thing about this too is that when you're not in the mood to watch it on here, you actually have a couch and you can watch TV adjacent to where the couch is. And so with this view in my background, this projector on my left, we're still not done. I now want to take you back into that hallway up to the fourth floor I'll see you up there in a second. The porcelain tile continues up onto the stairs, up to the top, open the shades so we can get outside. And up here is where the rooftop is gonna be of this property. So besides all the outdoor space you had, besides the endless entertaining space you had in the living room, in the dining room, you now have this complete rooftop terrace. And let me take you outside and show you around. 
I want you to picture entertaining for a wedding party, entertaining for a birthday, entertaining for a baby shower. Look how much space we have up at the top over here. You have an incredible view, just like architecture, these beautiful homes overlooking that deep blue pool. Even the top of the barbecue summer's kitchen has grass. So you're not looking at, you know, the concrete of that, of that structure. And then down over here, it's just more, more open space to lounge and hang out, putting couches out here, tables, almost as much room up here as there was on the first floor. So keep that in mind. And the best part about this glass railing is that you can continually see down. It doesn't obstruct any of your views and the walls are only four feet high. So it's not even taking away from like all that. You have boats driving by. This is the open bay leading out into the ocean. You can even from sitting right here, see the city of Miami up in the distance. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. So. I just want to say, if this is your first time on my channel, thank you for giving me a shot and clicking the button if you made it this far. If you've made it this far, definitely subscribe because I didn't let you down and I'm never going to let you down. And if you're a returning subscriber, I just want to say I appreciate you, I care about you, I love you more than any other YouTuber cares about their audience. That's a fact. And we'll see you in the next one. It's, we've got some crazy ones planned. So have a good day.